Hey guys, Cade Strong here with Kitsap CrossFit. Today we're going to talk a little bit about hydration and some drinks. So I know the biggest thing for everybody is just simple water. We're looking to hit about 80 ounces a day. So that would be about a 16 ounce glass five times. Very simple. You'd have one at breakfast, one at your snack in between breakfast and lunch, one at lunch, one at your snack between lunch and dinner, and one at dinner. You are set. You are solid. You did wonderful. If you did that with 12 ounces, it might take you an extra drink or so by the end of the day, but let's just try to get as close as we can to that 80 ounce mark. How do I do that? We carry around large bottles. These are about 32 to 33 ounce water bottles, uh, and we just leave them around the house. This place looks like the movie Signs sometimes. There's just water bottles everywhere. You'll definitely be hydrated. But some things can get really boring with water. So there's some other options we can look at to make that a little bit more flavorful. One, we can go to seltzer water. So whatever variation or brand you are looking for, tons of different flavors there, and that will give you just a little bit of a kick to change up that, dis that difference from regular water. But we can also just change in some real flavors. So what I got here are some lemon and lime and mint I pulled from the garden. So an easy way to make a very nice little uh, beverage that'll keep you drinking, keep you hydrated, but won't make you focus too much uh, on what the calories are in it because it's very minimal. It's just to take some mint, some lime, and you can finish that off with regular water or your seltzer water if you wanted to get a little bit of an extra kick in with it. So your choice with that, and you can even put, throw this into your water bottle and be set for the day with something that's a little bit flavorful, refill it and you'll still get a little bit of that ting with it too. From there, what we can do is we can add a little bit of fruit juice. Now, I would tend to say drinking a full cup of fruit juice is way too much sugar for most people. It's gonna put us way over on our carbohydrates, so we're probably looking for goal range. But taking a little bit, three to four ounces at the most, right at the bottom, and then filling that off with your seltzer water can make one heck of a drink that you will keep wanting to go back to, especially if this is a drink somewhere pre or post workout can help literally burn those sugars off too. Now I know what everyone's thinking, hey, Cade's doing a hydration drinking video, where's the alcohol? Now I tend to recommend for most people, always try to avoid the beers and the wines as much as you can. But if you are having those, make sure that you hit off a glass of water or so in between each of those drinks. Some of the things that work best for a lot of people uh, a shot or so of vodka, and then you can add in a seltzer water and a little extra slice of that lime to throw in, and you would be set and solid with a really, really good beverage that'll keep it low on sugar. If you're like me, then you're likely going to use just a little bit of whiskey with one of those gorgeous little ice cubes thrown in together, and then I'm just gonna sip that over a long time. Make sure it's not something that you are just chugging right through. We wanna be able to kind of blend this through throughout the day. You don't wanna hit the bathroom 13 times. So good luck with your hydration. Be looking for that 80 ounces. Try to stick to water as best you can. Have a great day.